hello lovers welcome back to my channel <laughs> guys if you're not subscribed to this channel make sure that you hit the subscribe button make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you leave me a comment make sure you look in the description bar for the link to my merch also a link to the chatterbox the chatterbox is a dollar and 99 cents a month and you do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join it is very much for grown-ups in that group however if you're not able to do that or not wanting to do that just stick around and follow my regular videos all right um mainly the chatterbox is mostly just live streams um live interaction but all my videos and a lot of the stuff that i talk about in there um some of the little topics does come out in my regular videos but anyway <laughs> oh look at phoebe bear like i don't know like i don't know she just something else i i um of course with everything going on in the world i cannot um i want to get her changed while i talk um i cannot see my grandbaby like regularly like a normal grandmother would you know especially being first grandbaby you would normally be like there every moment you know what i mean um but with everything just out of precaution i try not to to be around her like that so i do a lot of videos and pictures and stuff like that but the times that i have saw her in person um i tell you what when i get back and um which i have another visit coming up really soon um i i look at phoebe and i'm like i think her in color because <laughs> you know uh i i don't know you know most african-american babies they start out one skin tone and they kind of gradually change into what where they're going to be and so usually the family's always guessing is it going to take more after the dad side more after mom side you know that type thing so i'm like okay she's going to be a, a good mix in between you know mom and dad but i'm looking at her skin tone the more i look at her skin tone i'm thinking like i think she's going to end up being phoebe's color so i don't know it's pretty pretty cool um definitely a lot of good painting references on fine details and different things and so it's 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 you know it's cool because of course it's my grandbaby it's cool because you know the journey and it's also cool from an art perspective as well you know being able to have that live baby now what was i going to tell you about her oh yeah so um yeah so Sometimes when I walk past holding her in the mirror, I'll like, I mean like, man, this kind of reminds me of my grandbaby. So it's it's kind of kind of cool. I've went through so many different thought processes. I was like, should I put her on this? Then I was like, should I put her on this? Then I was like, should I put her on this? Just a regular little outfit. I haven't really seen her much in just regular stuff like that. So I was thinking about putting her on that. And then, you know, these are the pants to this. Um, I don't know. I just get overly excited. And then I end up, I don't know. Now I'm confusing myself. I don't know what I want to put her on. I know she needed a diaper change. But I was thinking maybe I might put Ada on this. I bought Ada some new earrings. And um, so, yeah. Um. Today is more so for me, um, off camera, it's going to be painting. Um, like I said, I do have a visit with my grandbaby, but this week is mostly going to be painting, um, working on Gabby's hair, um, taking the braids out, washing, you know, combing her hair. I'm horrible at hair. Horrible, horrible, horrible. I cannot do hair for a toot. Um, but with the quarantine, she hasn't been able to go to her appointments that she normally go to every two to three weeks. 
Um, so I have I have to try to do it. Oh, it's so cute to see her little wrinkles. Like all her little wrinkles. Oh my goodness. I've been I you know, it's so so funny how I needed a break and then I started watching um like YouTube channels and I found a couple, you know, new channels. Some of my friends have actually suggested some channels to me and I appreciate you guys. And um I was like it's like I've been getting so excited about the hobby all over again because I've had, you know, been enjoying some of the videos. I was watching a lady with her silicone baby the other day. And it was so funny. I was just watching how, you know, how we try to handle them when we're first getting them. It's like a funny task trying to, you know, get used to managing the silicone and all that stuff. See, the thing is, pink is really not her color, just so you guys know, for me, in my opinion. I mean, let me see. She looks okay in it, but in my opinion, I don't know, it's not her best color. Let me look and see what she looked like on camera for, for you guys. Yeah, see, pink, pink is it's it's one of those colors. Like, okay, yeah, blah, blah. It doesn't do anything for her. Um, now like a mauve or you know like a champagne color, neutral colors or like reds maybe does more. Now like this, and I don't know how I got this on this. This when I first got it, I did, it that little stain on there. I'm gonna have to hand wash that out. But this, see, like, that looks better up against her skin than the pink. Don't you guys think? I love that. She only wore that, like, for a split second when she didn't have hair off camera. So I'm going to put her back on this. I'm going to save this one I, and put this on Ada. I think I'm going to put this on Ada next. So most of the time off camera I will <laughs> most of the time off camera I will go through let me see do you have any buttons or anything no I will go through um, changing my babies like I'll have like so many that I want to change that day and then <laughs> her little hand just landed on her little face it's so cute I wish you guys could see it um and so I'll, I'll, you know, go through the motions and I'll do them, you know, either change them in their seats where they're at or I'll bring them to the changing table. A lot of times, especially like if they're in the crib, I'll just change them right there. If there are like rockers and stuff like that, I'll take them out and bring them over to the changing table and change them. Sometimes I'll sit them on my lap, lay them across my bed and change their clothes. But I'll go through the motions of, girl, you in this hair. And she got a little fuzzy from the outfit. Um, yeah, but I'll go through the motions of changing the clothes. You know what else I've figured out? Since I don't keep babies a whole long time, a lot of times, is... I figured out that painting babies and like adopting them out gives me just as much joy sometimes just being able to paint them. I Some kids, I just want to see what they look like if I painted them. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. Like I wish you guys could see how our little legs wrinkle and everything. It's so cute. Um... But yeah, um, so I've been painting a lot. Like, I mean, it's been really bad. Like, literally, the last two days, I've been like nonstop painting. And I've been painting 
on multiple babies and then one baby I started before I got my custom babies and I wanted to finish that baby really before I start my new custom and so I did but it was for myself um but usually with the silicone, it's pretty cool because you have such a wait time in between the painting and curing um, that I can paint my reborns at the same time. Because it's, you know, I'll paint, you know, you just, because I have two separate tables, so I don't mix stuff up. So I, um, and they're side by side, and I always go and, I, you know, you wash your hands, clean up before you go to one or the other because it, you know silicone is very finicky you cannot do reborns and, and then play with silicone because your cure, your paint might not cure um so yeah so i do that and i i do it too also it keeps me from just rushing through a paint job because um I get real manic when I paint the silicone. I learned that I want to just like fly through it and I've learned that I need to slow down. So it helps me stay in a creative mode, but um, not overdo things. And it allows me to play with colors on my reborns and then put them on my silicone baby. You know, the, you know, the mixing the colors and then I say oh I like that color I'm gonna put that on my on my silicone baby the colors don't always translate the same in silicone though but it gives me a general idea of where I want to go if that makes sense to you guys I don't know but yeah but I, I, I decided that I'm gonna you know I'm working on something else too special that you guys might appreciate. Once I finish these babies, I'm gonna do something else. And I'm trying to get myself financially stable and ready um, to where maybe Christmas, maybe I'll do another Christmas giveaway. But right now I am selling, 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 selling. Um, so if you missed out on the last one, maybe you can catch the next one or you can catch a baby that I put up for sale um, because I will be having a few and I am going to try to get some of them rooted so that I can have some that's not ball babies. But I tell you what, I've actually been enjoying my ball babies. You know, it's like, it's funny because I think, and this is just me, I think that even though we say we're not influenced or not worried about what other people say or what they're doing and stuff like that, and it's going to sound a little hypocritical, but I think sometimes I feel like, oh, I got to have hair on this baby because you know, people don't ooh and ah as much on, over the ball babies as they do the ones with hair. So, but I actually, because I've been in, been um, doing more with my collection in private, I've actually learned to appreciate the ball babies a lot more. And cute little hats and headbands and stuff like that. And sometimes, depending on the head shape, I really just like a ball like don't I don't want nothing on it so and um Lucy have made me appreciate painted hair but I I'm gonna try painted hair one day I'm gonna try to paint hair one day but it's not something I really care to learn too much because it's my least favorite thing on dolls to be honest and I know you know that don't help the fact that I was trying to sell Lucy and you know but I'm just being honest it's my least favorite thing and maybe at the end of the day maybe that's why 
I still, you know, sometimes try to sell her. Um, because I'm just not a painted hair fan. Um, I don't mind it, but I prefer, I just rather have the baby ball. I know, I mean, like, I know that sounds weird, but it's the truth. That's my preference. Um, oh, that was not the socks I was supposed to put her on. I was going to put her on them socks, but they don't match anyway. These match. Maybe that's why I did it. I'll put these on with this with some baby. I don't know what baby. Maybe um, Katie Lou will wear these. Like, and that's another thing. I'm getting back into my old habits where I just kind of go around, like I said, go around the room, change all the babies, and, you know, all at one time because I kind of like, so maybe I'll just do an update. Like, maybe once a week I'll do a pan of the room so you guys can see what all the babies are wearing because I don't do changing videos for every baby that I change. So you guys can see what is the babies wearing this week and I'll just do that how about that guys let me know in the comment section if you would like for me to do a weekly scan of the nursery just to see what all the babies are wearing and where and who's been changed let me know let me know her lip color came I mean I uh, not I color lip lip eye tongue color came out really nice and her little gums <laughs> She's so soft that when she lays like this, it kind of makes her little cheeks, face, like, shape kind of changed a little bit. But anyway, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.